you call me to preach and God maybe you're calling me again to do what I've done all my life almost and that's to preach and if you are you just let me know when if I'm to start a church uh, a church with a special outreach into the gay and lesbian community but with its doors open to everybody and uh, that still small voice in the mind's ear let me know now Our scripture reading is taken from 1 Peter chapter 1, verses 6 to 9. Wherein you greatly rejoice, though now for a little while, if need be, you have been grieved in various trials, that the proof of your faith, which is more precious than gold that perishes even though it is tested by fire, may be found to result in praise, glory, and honor, at the revelation of Jesus Christ, whom, not having known, you love. In Jesus Christ, though now you don't see him, yet believing, you rejoice greatly with joy that is unspeakable and full of glory, receiving the result of your faith, the salvation of your soul. These words of Peter are for us, the people of God. Thanks be to God. October is a busy month this year, especially this particular Sunday. It is the 18th Sunday after Pentecost. It is World Communion Sunday, where churches around the world come together to celebrate and to remember who we are through the remembering of communion, through the commemoration that we do every Sunday called Communion. This is also Fellowship Sunday. For the Universal Fellowship of Metropolitan Community Churches, this is our 52nd birthday. We've been around since 1968, when Troy Perry obeyed that call of that still small voice of God to reach out to the lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgendered communities of the world and our friends and our allies. In other words, to all of God's people. I'm not going to take a long time today because I would rather you hear Troy Perry's words. And I would rather you hear and witness the words and testimonies of people from around the world whose lives have been changed by metropolitan community churches. Indeed, here, even in our own city of Windsor, Ontario, Canada, lives have been changed. And it is my hope and prayer that we continue to change lives, to make the world a reflection of God's love in ourselves and in the world around us, in all God's many and wonderful names. I invite you now after we have communion, I'm going to end today's service by inviting you to listen to the words and the testimony of people from around the world in MCC. Let us pray. Loving Christ, you gathered your disciples together long ago on the night you were betrayed and called upon them to remember you. You called upon them to remember your love, your grace, and your forgiveness. You called each of them, including the one who betrayed you, the one who denied you, the one who doubted you, and the ones who argued over who were the greatest. You called them, and you call us. On this day, we remember that none of us are worthy, that all of us fall short, and yet you still call us friends and you invite us to remember that you laid down your life for us, and you have called us into a new covenant. We gather with your siblings, or with our siblings around the world, from all backgrounds and traditions, to share in this simple meal together, in which your presence is made known to us in a new way. We confess our sins to you, O Christ, that we have not been one as you intended, we confess that instead of celebrating and embracing our differences of cultures and histories, the Church has embraced Western culture 
as the culture of the church. The church has colonized, oppressed, and at times worked to destroy what you, O oh God, created to be beautiful. We confess and seek forgiveness, O oh God, for those of us who have participated in oppression. Call us into accountability and the work of reparation. May we come before you with clean hearts, O oh God, ready to receive your body and blood, your life laid down for us, so that we might know your love and life everlasting. May we receive the love and grace of our siblings worldwide as we celebrate at your table and know that in you we are participants in the new covenant, in the eternal life you promised, through you, Jesus Christ, our Lord, who taught us to pray. O God, our divine parent, may your presence be ever revered. May your peace and justice dwell among us. May your love and compassion live within and between us. Nourish us daily with the necessities of life, sustenance for our bodies and inspiration for our spirits. And may the forgiveness we give be that which we receive, the kindness we show be that which we perceive. Lead us on virtuous paths and distance us from evil. For your world is our world and your reign our reign. Then now and always. May it be so. On October 6th, 1968, Troy Perry met with 12 other people in his living room in Huntington Park, California. He preached the good news to all people. And he celebrated a communion, an open table for all who would receive. If you've watched our videos, you've seen and noticed over the top that we always say there is a place for you at God's table. And in metropolitan community churches, we mean that. There is a place for you in God's table. So let us pray. God is with us. Let us lift up our hearts. Yes, lift them up to God. Most loving God, we know that you are with us wherever we are no matter how we come together. We remember now how you took the bread, blessed it after the manner of your people, broke it, and gave it to your friends, saying, this is my body given for you. We remember now, too, how after the meal you took the cup and blessed it after the manner of your people and passed it among your friends, saying, this is my love poured out for you and for everyone. Whenever you do these things, remember me. And we remember, too, the mystery of our faith, that Christ has died, Christ is risen, and Christ will come again. Hallelujah. Loving God, we give thanks for the opportunity to meet, for we know that whenever two or more gather in your name, even virtually, you are with us. Be with us now as we celebrate with churches around the world, and as we wait out this trying time so that when we can get back together, we can be your love and your light in a world that so desperately needs it. In all your many and wonderful names. Amen. Thank you for joining us today. As I said earlier, I would like to close today by inviting you to listen to the words of people from MCC around the world, share their thoughts, their feelings, and their experiences of MCC around the world. As always, we rely on your financial support as well as your prayers and your participation. There are links in the description below if you would like to contribute to the work of MCC around the world or to the work of MCC here in Windsor, Ontario, Canada. So until we can meet again, may the God who has created us, Christ who saves us, and the Holy Spirit, our comfort and our strength, be with you all. And all God's people said, Amen.
MCC is where I found God again. MCC is where I feel loved, I feel appreciated, and where I feel celebrated. MCC is where I can be me and true to who I love. God is the portrait of my life. MCC is the framework. MCC is where I know I belong. MCC is our family's home and our hope. MCC is where I found the real Jesus after surviving uh, reparative therapy. CC is where I had my life saved. MCC is where I became confidently beautiful with a heart. MCC is where I came home to church. MCC is my home. MCC is my home away from home. MCC is where I grew up. MCC is my family of choice. MCC now has three generations of my family. MCC is my family. It is my friends. It is my family of choice. It is my choice for my life and for my ministry and for how I express love in the world. MCC is where I find my grounding. It's where my soul is built up and rejuvenated. It's my spiritual home. It saved my life as a very, very young uh, adult. MCC is where I'm the most me. MCC is where I can be myself. MCC is where I thrive and prosper. And MCC is my love and my passion. MCC is where I can fully grow and be who I am. MCC changed my life. We are MCC, the church of love. MCC is where I found love. MCC, MCC is where I found, I found my, my love. love. MCC is where I met my wife. <laughs> MCC is my family. I want to thank MCC for helping me to be alive and growing at 75. <laughs> we love MCC. MCC. <laughs>